नमस्कार थैंक यू वेरी मच प्रीत प्रीत नंबियर जी फॉर गिविंग मी दिस वंडरफुल अपॉर्चुनिटी टू शेयर माय व्यूज माय थॉट्स ऑन योर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थीम प्राण ब्रीदिंग इन पेनोरामा इंटरनेशनल आर्ट्स एंड लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट माय न्यू बुक शेडिंग द मेटाफर्स पब्लिश फ्रॉम ब्लैक ईगल पब्लिकेशंस यूएसए आई रिसीव द बुक ओनली यस्टरडे एंड थैंक यू वंस अगेन डियर प्रीत फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू रीड आउट ए कपल ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंट आइडियाज एंड सम ऑफ माई स्टोरीज फ्रॉम दिस बुक for uh, the writers capital foundation and panorama international art and literature festival i have long critical engagement with preet nambiar ji we have worked on several projects since past many years and i'm sure that this critical engagement will continue with preet nambiar ji uh, about this book shedding the metaphors uh this is my first short story collection and my 18th book i have written so many poetry collections and uh, many critical books on uh, folklore and culture studies and indian literature indian poetry and uh, even on uh, english language teaching i have written these stories these 12 stories published here uh, uh, last many years and the stories have been published in several journals and magazines and books uh, independently and uh, now i thought that i can put all the stories together and take out uh, a book and black eagle publications usa has done a very good job in bringing out this a uh, very beautifully uh, designed uh, book the cover has been designed by anil tato ji he is an excellent artist a painter and uh, the book is available on amazon everywhere you can just have a look at amazon to uh, to get this book and uh, the stories all the 12 stories from this collection have been already translated to hindi by dinesh mali ji and uh, the hindi a uh, story collection by nandini sahu titled nandini sahu ke chuninta kahaniyan is under publication which will be published probably by the end of this month or early next month uh, the theme of this poetry festival this literature festival is pran breathing life and what better occasion do i have to talk about life rather than uh, this very important literature festival where i am going to talk about uh, the characters from this book who are so full of life optimism they want to live life in a very optimistic positive and inclusive way uh, there are 12 stories in this collection the titles of the stories are a very different story this is a love story a very romantic story alternative masculinity it talks about uh, some of our important social issues echoing in a lullaby this is a nostalgic story of my childhood spent with my teacher in my childhood shadow of a shadow uh, this is a story dealing with uh, lgbtq and lesbianism this story and uh, i'm sure that the readers are going to enjoy reading this story and also this will give them a food for thought to think about uh, the queer and uh, uh, juvenile love letter uh, is one nostalgic story again mm, i took almost 22 years to write this story i've been thinking about it but finally i put the the story together and uh, this is the juvenile love letter and then two more stories the quarantine and post quarantine i wrote these two stories during a uh, covid last year and uh, i have taken inspiration from a friend her life for these two stories the quarantine and post quarantine and then the scarlet fly again psychoanalysis can be done of this character and octopus it's a romantic story the wild stream this is a political satire and uh, it it talks about uh, a small child uh, mami pradhan uh, who got trapped into some vicious circle of politics and then she became a victim of human trafficking and uh, the story of mami pradhan i hope is going to touch the hearts of my 
readers uh, the the title of the story is uh, the wild stream and the last story of the collection is being god's wife this is my memoir uh, here i am talking from my mother's perspective and i'm talking about my great father late sri krishna chandra sahu he was instrumental in educating six girls in rural orissa years back and uh, he he has been my source of inspiration and this is a memoir from my mother's perspective which my mother will never write so i thought i should write it down and uh, uh, let the world know about my rich pedigree where my great father had inspired us my sister six of us to get education and to be a part of a larger social system and to contribute to the society i would like to read a couple of lines from the preface of uh, the collection shading the metaphors now why am i going to share the metaphors and what are those metaphors i would like to read out from the collection i have reached a point of my life where i am completely non judgmental i don't want to judge anybody i am dismissive of nothing i accept life i accept people as they are without passing any of my judgments on them this is how life has been a learning process for me everyone is good in some or other way actually there is no one who is a bad character in the society sometimes people become victims of the circumstances i think this is what preet nambiar ji is going to talk through this literature festival panorama international arts and literature festival inclusivity accept everything decline nothing decline no one judge no one pran breathing accept life as it is and from the preface i would like to read a couple of lines i am a writer of many moods and my toiling the soil is a montage of varied anxieties and celebrations of classicism and modernity of fundamental responsibility to society and idealistic love a proclamation and repudiation documented for the self esteem of the human i am a writer speaking for the virtue of pure human heart ache the creative consultant of the written word and the sacredness of my individual belief systems stemming from my social beliefs and traditional knowledge systems my creative fiction is my social mobility platform with the agility of love's touch through my mind's wanton complexity precisely my stories do not preach at anyone they wish to simply gather you together and grip you beyond any verdicts now i realize one sheds all metaphors when life comes to a full circle it is a new beginning for me being inclusive empathetic universal accepting reconciling and persistent at such a landmark one stops misconstruing and misapprehending now life is about the delusions and perception of the present time in its multiple shades now one is complete it is a commencement at the same time it is an end it's the mode of nirvana all inclusive nihilistic irrationally rational non-judgmental and very romantic it's difficult to contain all such finer metaphors of life in one living there's shedding the metaphors is inevitable i'm shedding my id ego and super ego now i am the brahma now i am a clean slate i write with an all embracing rhythmical imagining like an enormous river that conveys in its curve plentiful tribulations i decline no knowledge discount nothing and your veracity in its enigmatic complexity precisely i am shedding the metaphors attached to me in the past present and future like t.s eliot i would like to say now time present and time past are both perhaps present in time future
and time future contained in time past. If all time is eternally present, all time is unredeemable. And when I wrote these stories, uh, sometimes you know what happens. At the cost of uh, sounding personal, I pour my image, my personality into the characters around me. I get interested. I get curious about some character living beside me. I see them on the streets, in my neighborhood, in my university, among my students, among my readers, I see a character and then I try to write about them. I try to write their story. But in the absence of actually getting into the layers of their personality, I write their story, but the layers of my personality definitely comes out sometimes. So at the cost of being personal, I write their stories. Probably this is how a writer has to function. A writer has to take out his or herself, isn't it? A few stories in this collection like Being God's Wife, a very different story, alternative masculinity, a juvenile love letter, the wild stream and the, that elusive orgasm. They have autobiographical elements, definitely. And rest of the stories, I in the rest of the stories, I play with complex human emotions. For me, the personal is political. My quarrel with the self and otherwise is rather a reassembling and uniting war cry. I write about social issues, isn't it? It's a clarion call, like that of the slogan of the students' movement during the second wave feminism in the 1960s. I write social mobility literature. I write witness literature. I do that with clear intentions. Mahaswata Devi writes in her preface to Sreshto Golpo, she writes, quote, I had never had the capacity nor the urge to create art for art's sake. Since I never learned to do anything more useful, I have gone on writing. I have found authentic documentation to be best medium for protest against injustice and exploitation. Stop quote. Like Mahaswata Devi, writing is my personal agenda and this is my political agenda too. This book Shedding the metaphors, it's something that I have poured myself in. I have taken out my ego. I have shed all the metaphors. I have written about myself, about you, about the society, about nature, God, spiritualism, and my engagement with all of them. Thank you, Preet Nambirsi, once again, for giving me this wonderful opportunity to talk about my book, Shedding the Metaphors, in your Panorama International Arts and Literature Festival and also for Writers Capital Foundation. Thank you and Namaskar.